Meditation for Dummies Part 2 with Yoga Shanti Basai. This is the guided meditation. Okay. Part 1 we discussed the direction of meditation. Direction is of meditation is to be free from the world, to go deeper within the body that is grosser, still go deeper within the body which is energy or prana, still deeper and subtler is the mind, still deeper and subtler is intellect, and still the basic substratum is consciousness, and this consciousness is nothing but part of Atman and Brahman. So meditation is to go inward. And going inward, we need to use all the faculties because we have to use the body, we have to use the breathing, we cannot stay without breathing, so we use them as tools. The fundamental thing is, we distinguish between mind and intellect. Mind is allowed the freedom to take care of the basic maintenance of the body functions. Intellect is the one that gets in trouble. So this intellect has to be quieted. When intellect becomes quiet, it disappears into consciousness. And that is what meditation is about. So meditation is not controlling the body, not doing all the harsh austerities, not doing advanced position, not controlling the breath with advanced pranayama, not controlling the mind by torturing the mind and mental discipline. So the simplest approach is to really use everything as instrument so that we can go to the source. From the source of Atman comes consciousness, intellect, mind and emotions, prana, sense organs, body, and then we extend outside in the world holding on to the things and people. So when we withdraw, then just like electricity goes out, goes to the source, we withdraw and go to the source. If you have that basic understanding, you don't have to go through harsh discipline. So let's start. Close the eyes. Relax the body. It is not necessary to do lotus position or sit any specific position. Let go of all the ideas that I have to be in perfect position. Any position that is comfortable. Be comfortable in the room, there is no noise, not too much heat or cold, so you can go beyond the body. And then you go inward into the mind, but the mind takes care of itself. We want to work with intellect. So intellect is a faculty that thinks, analyzes, goes in the past, goes in the future, imagines things. So, for a moment, if we choose that I want to stop my intellect from wandering, just for a few seconds, that's all. We choose that, intellect stops. Instantaneously you get the experience. What comes in the way is, I cannot do all yoga position, my mind is restless, I cannot control my mind. Let go of all these thoughts and keep this model in mind. With eyes closed, observe the breath. If you simply observe the breath, you are not breathing, you are not using the mind to control the breath. You are simply observing and this observer is consciousness. If you are simply observing as consciousness, intellect disappears. Intellect, that means thinking mind, judging mind, disappears. Mind takes care of maintenance. Whatever necessary, body is tired, body will move. 
if necessary, your sneeze, your scratch, all these are functions of the mind using the prana. But when you become an observer, intellect, intellectual faculties will become quiet. And intellect becomes quiet. You go deep into consciousness. And you just stay there for a second or a few seconds. And you get the direct experience. Direct experience is not comparable to any kind of pleasure because that is dualistic, dualistic experience. This experience of peace, experience of joy, experience of freedom, like you have unloaded all the burdens and you are free to relax. That is what meditation is about. If you use this approach, not pushing yourself, every time you practice, use awareness of breath only to slow down the restless intellect. And you experience spark of consciousness even for a short time. Do it again and you experience more. And then you can apply during the day while you are working, driving, talking, that you are aware I am the consciousness and that is what meditation is about. Keeping the reference with I consciousness or Atman is called Abhyasa and that is the practice, not yoga position, breathing and austerity. That is not the real practice. Real practice is constant remembrance of I am. I am the source. I am permanent. Everything is changing. So this fundamental principle is not taught everywhere. People are taught to control this and control that and that comes in the way. Belong to religion, belong to any path, belong to any guru. That actually distracts you. Just remain established in the self. Nothing has to happen. You just be there. You be alone with yourself and so see the beauty of being alone with self without distractions of the intellect, mind, senses desires. So that is what spiritual journey is about. This is what meditation is about. Just be in. It can be done with eyes open, eyes closed. It is the real application and it works. Just like a cave is dark for millions of years, you throw flashlight and everything illumines. This is illuminating by connecting with the self and that is real meditation.